I have more room now so I can draw this a little better now. This is Majin Buu's shirt. Here's his arm. Now that line I was talking about before. First I'll come up and finish this part here. And it comes down. A little bit of a black spot right in here. Actually, the angle's wrong on this. Let me try it again. It's more like this. Then you come over here and you got his ear. Go back over here. There's his shirt. We want to come up. There's this point right here where it curves like that. Right at that point there. Come up a tiny little bit right here. And that's where that line's going to be. For his arm. Just draw the line for now. Not much of this line is going to be in the final drawing because once the drawing is done, you can cut out that stuff with a pair of scissors. But for now, you can go ahead and just draw it in a little longer if you want, like that. Come over here. A little bit above that line, about here, draw a slight curve for the top of his arm. And now this curve is pretty much going to end right here. This is going to be the line where you're going to cut. So I should draw myself an imaginary line here, kind of. That's really all the space I have to draw his head, which is I don't think is going to be enough, but let's try it. Here's his ear. Come onto the edge of the ear and draw a line up. The curve of his skull is going to go out of the picture view. So like that, this is going to be cut off. Come over to about here, draw a curve for his skull, go about that far down, actually let's see, use Vegeta's fist as a reference, about halfway down Vegeta's fist here is where you want to make start that curve and his skull, right there come out and then make the curve here and about here on Vegeta's glove is where it's going to end. Right here you start to draw that cape thing that's around his neck. Draw the line and then come down here a little bit. Come back over here Draw the second line. Come over here. Draw the third line. This is going to have to be drawn out again a little longer. It looks like I had it right the first time to about here. Wait a minute. Oh. 
Actually, I got confused. I didn't. I drew these lines in the wrong spot. I did a little I did a little hiccup here. Go back up here to redraw that. These lines don't belong here. I need to make a reference point down here. <clears throat> Come a little bit past where the glove meets his forearm. About here. That's where that last part of that purple thing around his neck is gonna be. Right here. Draw it out. Come up to right. Here, draw the second one. A line kind of disappears right there. Then there's another line above it. Come up a little bit more here. Angle the line. Like that. To finish it off. Finish it off, come up here, and draw the final line. Draw this line down. Draw this line down here. Fill it in, and then this line comes even further out. This I'm going to adjust a little bit here, bring it up a little more. Come right here, start to draw the curve on his face. We get about halfway up Vegeta's glove, right here in the middle, right in the middle of his glove. You want to start that curve. And then the curve comes back around, goes up here and out of the picture. So now come back and get rid of this line. Or I'll get rid of this line that I that I drew wrong first time. Now we got a more accurate depiction of his head. Right here on his ear, there's a line right about here. Draw the line out. The line meets Vegeta's fist. Kind of like that. And then there's another line. This line here curves. And meets his fist up here. Come up about halfway on the ear. Then there's another line that goes like this. I won't draw the whole line yet, because I still need to draw other stuff to be able to put it together properly. Come a little higher, almost to the top of the ear, and draw that second line. And they intersect each other right there. Down here there's kind of a little bit of a line that sticks out there. Bring this up a little more. Then there's the line that starts to angle. Draw another line up here that intersects that line. Give us an idea of what we got to work with here. This line here curves around his face. Just draw the line the best you can, and the line ends at about the end of Vegeta's glove right here, like that. Now this is a little off from the picture because because when you draw this, this is just it's never perfect. So I might actually I'm going to make this line a little shorter. 
right there. Next is a line inside of this line here. It's in approximately the middle. It starts about here in Vegeta's glove. A little bit past there. Draw a line at an angle and then connect a curved line to it like this. Doesn't go down that much. Come over here. A little bit a little bit lower. Come over here a little bit lower. Bring this line down. Looks like I need to make Vegeta's fist shorter again. You also need patience to draw. Make his fist a little smaller now and then come over right here in this part of the fist. Draw a line like this, angle it that way. Come up here, about here. Draw another line down. Come into the middle of that line and draw an angled line down. Slight angle, but not, but it actually looks pretty straight. Like that. And there's a small space here between his neck and that purple thing he's wearing. These two lines here, there's going to be another line. It's not quite center. It's a little off center over here. And you're going to draw that. And that goes all the way down to the purple thing, just like that. Now we can, it looks like there's enough lines drawn now, we can start to draw his actual eyes and mouth. Roughly here on this line, on the, this first line, start to draw a curve, slight curve like this, and then curve it again downwards, over, curve it upwards a little bit like that and this this is going to end pretty much where this curve is and this curve is too deep i'm going to have to fix that later it's only going to come out like that it's not as deep come a little bit above this curve right here where these two intersect come over here at an angle about here and you're going to draw a line like this, a little line there, then come up here, come over here actually, a little bit above the line to the left, draw, start to draw a curve, bring the curve down, and intersect the two lines together, slight curve upwards, and then gradually work on curving it downwards like that that is pretty much his eye above that line or above those lines there's another s slight line right here above that right he about here there's a few curved lines one, it looks like there's three. There's two, they connect, it kind of looks like a V. And then there's the final one. Come down a little bit here. This one kind of looks like a Y. Draw one line, draw another curved line like that. They intersect. And then it comes down. Over here, a little bit past this line here, right about here, start to draw his mouth. Draw this line, curve it. Come down here. 
It's actually going to be a little thicker of a line here. Draw that and then draw this. His actual mouth. Keep it away from this line. I'm going to have to readjust that line. Bring it down. Then start the next line. Or the intersect. Then bring down his chin. Curve it. Connect the two together like that, there we go. And then the little thing under his chin kind of looks like a Y, so just draw that. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back and fix this curve here and fix this part of his mouth. something like that the curve in his face the curve in his face actually is about here and then it works its way out Majin Buu's face is now complete.